the cast anymore, but uh, you know, someday I might, uh, you know, mess around with it. We got gamer and mistake. Losers semis. They're playing for fourth place, and um, I don't see these guys play often, to be honest. So I, I think a gamer can handle it, but we'll see. Lance's grab big boy damage already evens up the game. Damn, I guess with the the size of DK's hitboxes like his up air, it can be harder for Bear to land with the aerials. Uh oh. Let's see, can he stay alive? Off stage. To me is a met oh well, yeah, okay, he's dead. There he goes. I guess yeah, if it's anyone with a counter versus anyone with a hitbox recovery, you're kinda dead. Oh the metal! Got top six, guys. Yeah, I got top six. I finally got the medal. Last time was that charged. I barely missed it by one round, losing to Ryan DCB. This time, I qualified for it by beating him. Yao Ming. Actually, I don't know if that was the Yao Ming. And and gamer can't hear me. But it's always a scary mix of like, oh, do I have to tech or not? I guess you always just gotta expect it. Uh oh, no, it does not give it the forward air. That forward air may have killed, even though it tends to not if you di correctly. But. Either way, Gamer can can tank the stock. Bayonetta kind of has to, if she's not gonna edge guard you, she has to kind of make a, a commitment to kill. Back air is like the only thing she really has outside of that though. So you just play around the back air, you're good. The Gamer hit by that, DK is as big as Varn. Ding dong! Hello. Last stock, game one. This metal is sick, and it's sick because it's like I helped design this logo. I didn't do the whole thing, but I did some of the foundations of it. All right, how much can Tamim convert off this? Oh, he's still going. There's no way he's laddering Donkey Kong. There ain't no way. Not in this game. Up smash, no roll, no dice. Smart recovery, not even putting the hitbox out. That gets bat within. And there's game one for mistake. See, like I can't say anything because the players are right behind me. So if I speak, I guess. They, okay, they can't hear me. Um, I like that mistake. Oh. You can see. <laughs> okay, there we go. Um, I like that Mistake's playstyle has evolved over the years. He used to be a little bit more on the aggressive side with a lot of players, just throw himself at you, and then uh, and and if it hits you, it hits you. If not, then he changes up from there. But I feel like he's become more careful. Either way, that's a lot of players. Ding dong already. No, well, there you go. Oh my gosh, he's got super armor. And in 15 seconds, first stock is gone. That unfortunate for mistake, and oh my gosh, there's no way. Oh. Well, okay, I, I guess the gamer's got somewhere to be. He wants to speed run this. But like, it's just losers though. So, really, my man can never complain about super armor again in his life. Oh my gosh, this this guy. <laughs> If it's a move that ends in B, he will use it. He's, he's, okay. See, that situation is like the kind of situation where you're feeling yourself, and you think, oh, yeah, I have to go for this crazy edge card, but he's smart using the F till it led. Smart retreat there from Gamer. Mistake does no dice on this game right now. Oh, my gosh. And, okay. All right. He's not messing around anymore. He bans. Let's, let's see. Town FD and Smashville. Uh, smart for banning Town. I think Bale likes that stage. She'll kill off the side often, and she has a lot of room to edge guard out there. They're going to. Oh, I thought he banned FD. 
either I misheard or nobody cares about rules anymore. I swear he banned FD. Yeah, he did ban FD. What? <laughs> oh, he went FD. They're going to Battlefield. He has really good juggles, but I mean, you allow for a lot of platform extensions. However, Gamer's not really dying off the top. And Bayo doesn't really kill people off the top that often in this game anyway. So I think it might be helpful for Gamer, especially because the blast zones of Battlefield are fairly big, so he might be good. Oh, in there. Oh, I wonder if the mix up is Bayonetta gonna use it up he had a shield or not. But it's back and forth between these players right now. Let's see what's what's Mystic got. Ooh, that down after Bird of Kick. Great trade, but still out there. Lucky for Gamer that he goes into the right side. Now nice. without a jump. And there you go. Wow, he teched that! Oh my god. My man it is up there. Still alive at 147. Now at this point, you just gotta watch out for the back airs and don't get hit by that. I, oh, okay. Bold, bold idea with um, using up smash there. Uh oh. This is not where you want. Oh, uh, he might die. He's dead. And that's why I don't think Battlefield was the best idea. <laughs> These guys are just trading. Like, jeez, dude. Like, even though he's down a full stock, Gamer can bring this back. Uh-oh, that's a trip. Let's see this damage. He waited for that witch time. Smart recovery there from Gamer. Oh my gosh. You know, it's easy to call out that afterburner kick, but it, it always kind of ends up hitting you anyway. This is dangerous, though. A back here near the ledge? Probably it for this game for gamer. Oh my gosh. No Doable honestly doable Me was ready to tech Oh, where's my super? Army? I don't even know if he had that giant punch fully charged. Oh That was scary, but now he brings it back if he got that grab on the top platform to me was probably dead even though 40 which would have been insane, but he brings up a little bit more damage. Now it's 76. Looking a lot more realistic for Gamer to take this one. Oh my god, a wall up smash. What the heck? Welcome to Monday Night Raw, featuring up smash under the platform. Like, Jesus, dude. It's actually not Monday night, it's Saturday night, but... I can't really call that a Saturday night collision now, can I? I, I mean, call it whatever you want, but call it a W for Gamer. And I'm in the corner. <laughs> okay, I gotta... I think if I beat Tamim, I would have had to play this guy again. Ouch. But I mean, hey, top six feels good. Alright, let's see some juice from Tamim. What do we got? 43%. Not bad. Keep it going. I feel, see, I don't know if I would have let him go back to Battlefield. I feel like... I don't want to say Gamer got lucky, because he didn't. He, he, he did it, but like... There are some devastating moments against him. I don't know. Maybe there's something about the matchup he knows that I don't. So I don't really know. Bayo DK, he got shot right in the face. Mistake just landing so many moves, but Gamer are able to jump away. It's weird, like, his tag is mistaken again, for the longest time it was just his first name, but then he changed it back. Oh, smart move. Doesn't really get much off it. Only one kick. Oh, nope. Let's keep it the edge guard. Can I see any F Tilt Enjoyers right here? DK F Tilt Enjoyer? Nope. And I guess it makes sense. The hitbox travels about. Oh, there you go. That move is so strong. Gamer's still in this. I mean, he made the big comeback last game. He can make it here. That one grab would have probably gotten Mistake up to like 50 or 60. For real. Uh-oh. Unless Mistake can land a bear or convert into a bear. Okay, there, there you go. 
I willed that into existence. That's not a commentator's curse. That's a commentator's blessing. Uh-oh. No. You hold down when Bayo hits forward air up, up like that. You hold down. Good damage there from the aerial spinning Kong. Let's see what he's got. Does not land a grab. You know, that's what he wants. It's a good percent for that. Is he in Ding Dong range? I don't know what it is for Bayo. Probably looked at it on his phone beforehand. Oh, no way. But he's got his fully charged giant punch. So he has a literal win button. I don't see Bayo living. No way. Okay. Man, I was hyping it up. I was hyping up the situation. He got giant punch. You know, he's gonna find it. Just gets forward air. See, in that situation, the, the forward air makes sense. Like, it, it's gonna kill him because they're horizontal and they're that far up. That barely hit, huh? But the hit, but have you ever seen Bayo's hitboxes on like the forward air and stuff? It's massive. It's actually ridiculous how big it is. This thing keeps changing Bayo colors. Like, it makes me glad I'm not making the top 8 graphic for this, but if you want to, because I'll be honored. Oh, look at those little pictures of Cloudy in the background. I, I like that Karam has like these slightly modded stages to make them more personal for the tournament. They're on Smashville now. I, would that hit DK? Like with that two frame, does this is uh, does DK pop up that far? I don't know. It's a good tech there from mistake. Uh oh, what is going on? Where's my super? Oh wow, that pulled him in. These hitboxes are nuts. DK is also the size of a barn. No, he he's not ready. Uh-oh, let's see what he's got. Nothing. Smart on, on Timmy to just jump there. Can't punish that. I look down, he's at 103. As my dad texted me. Question for the Twitch chat. Never mind. That was the giant fist. I was gonna ask a question, but I, I don't think it matters now. Oh, let's see some juice. I think he lost his jump right there. Decent damage. But for Bayonetta, it's like the damage doesn't matter as much as the edge guard, really. That's, that's where she gets a lot of her kills. Unless it's. Yeah, this is the edge guard. Oh no, was he trying to flex or did he not know what was going on right there? And I know Mystic likes to flex. I just realized this is game five. No! Damn. Yeah, he kind of got put in the blender right there, unfortunately. Tamim, Mystic advances.